Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 8th to the 14th of March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. So what do we have for Capricorn please, Angel Spirits Guides, as the overarching energy or message for the week? 8th to the 14th of March 2021. Message for Capricorn, please. Okay. <laughs> let's clarify. Let's pull the overarching energy for Capricorn, please. Angel Spirits Guides. Five of Coins. It's interesting. I did have a look at bottom of the deck here, Capricorn. Uh, I don't normally look at this deck at the bottom, but I did. So I've got the Ace of Coins there, which is interesting with the Five of Coins. So I'm going to put that next to it because I did look. Everything happens for a reason in these readings. Okay, what do we have for Capricorn, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Capricorns. message for Capricorn we have the future isn't that beautiful see that mermaid holding a crystal ball there's a kind of prediction there about the future I'm definitely getting with those energies so what do we have please angels what is the message for Capricorn message for our lovely Capricorns oh my goodness success success and uh, that is beautiful okay i'm going to pull three cards as i always do and we will clarify go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you capricorn okay what do we have for capricorn please angels spirits guides message for our lovely capricorns It's to the 14th of March 2021. Message for Capricorns, please, Angel Spirits Guides. That flew out. Six of Cups. The Fool. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Capricorn. Eighth to the 14th of March, 2021, please. Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Capricorns, please. message for Capricorns. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Capricorn please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Thank you. Okay, two cards there Capricorn. We have Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands in the challenge position. Okay. High Priestess And <laughs> the Emperor, Six of Pentacles, bottom of the deck, we have, oh my goodness, the Nine of Cups. Okay, Capricorn. I definitely feel for some of you, this Five of Pentacles, it feels to me, I mean... It feels like this is to do with money, career, finances. 
The five of coins can be a card of feeling lack in that area, needing to ask for help from other people, financial support, that kind of energy. Um, and it's a feeling of lack. And with the five of pentacles, you have to be very careful because the lack can control your energy, how you perceive something. It can be very, very consuming. And I'm definitely getting in this energy, certainly in the challenge position, that there is an element of delays or setbacks going on here, things not happening quickly, and it's been difficult to move on from what this represented for you, the five of coins. Now, it can be to do with job losses. It can be to do with changes in your financial circumstances for the worse. Um, but the message here is this is the church, and you can see that you're being watched over by this stained glass window. There is definitely an energy here that you're being watched over, guided, even in the darkest times. Try to keep your energy positive because what you put out to the universe is what you get back. Um, it's very much linked to the law of attraction and there is definitely an energy here of, of something that can really own you. I mean, sometimes this can be about begrudging other people, they're fine and I'm not. You know, life's not fair and it might not be. It might not be fair with this, but there is an element of you are being watched over, you are being guided to do what the practical energy of the pentacles tells you to do. Focus, focus your practical skills, knowledge, experience and keep focusing and step back and try and see, get perspective when this card appears. Yeah, because for some of you, <laughs> There is, the future is bright. I mean, you know, I can't underplay that because the Ace of Coins is telling you that, yeah, you are being watched over, even though you don't see this window. And sometimes you see um, two people who are out in the cold in, on this card with the Rider weight. Um, Jeremy portrayed as a beggar and a leper, um, you know, and they don't see the stained glass window because they're so absorbed in the negativity. And the message is, even though you don't see it, you're being watched over, guided, and you're being guided, you're being given a helping hand. This is a gift energy. There's a reason why there's a star in the pentacle. So this is an energy of you are being guided to new growth. You can see the tree. I really like the visual of this behind us. It's an earth energy as well. Um, to new growth, to new paths, to new opportunities. This is career, financial opportunity, jobs, business ventures, call it what you will, but it is the beginnings of new abundance coming your way. So it's a great energy here of there is definitely signs of success for your future. And it's like the universe is telling you if you could only see what the future has in store for you, you know, you will see past this lack phase. You know, it's almost kind of like that energy. I'm definitely getting, you see this angel like jumping for joy. I'm definitely getting that there is, there is success ahead. There is success ahead and that's what you're being told. So I really like that energy. It's been difficult to move on. I, I you know, I mean, it feels like It's been, a, things just haven't been looking up and it's been down to delays in terms of hearing back on opportunities um, or conversations not happening quickly enough or opportunities not progressing. Um, and it, it's meant that you've been stuck in the past. It's meant that you've felt stuck in this energy and you felt no progress in a situation. And I, I kind of get that here. But the message is, again, High Priestess, you are being guided, you are being watched over. This is trusting your intuition. It's also an energy of you are being aligned to your soul path. You know, and the energy of the Fool is a card of new beginnings. The new beginning is coming your way. If it presents itself, take a leap of faith, go for it, don't think twice. If there's something that you, you're you kind of considering or something that you're not quite sure is right for you, the full energy is 
take a leap of faith, take a chance, because with that high priestess energy, it's exactly what is meant for you. So, and again, it's, it's just look at the detail, make sure something, you know, is right and the facts are okay and the information's right. But nevertheless, the fool is a powerful new beginning is opening up for you and it will allow you to finally liberate from a phase of your life where there has been delays, setbacks, maybe some level of stagnation where things haven't been looking up. And finally, there is new optimism coming in. And that's what Spirit is telling you. There is absolutely new op optimism coming in here. Yeah. Because the message here is it's your time to receive. It's your time to receive. There could be... It's either, a, I mean, there, if I was being specific, there could be an entrepreneurial organization or it could well be a large organization. Lots of tears, lots of structure coming your way. It could be somebody reaching out with regard to that, with regard to some opportunity associated with that Capricorn. So that might resonate for some of you. And again, this Six of Pentacles is about what you put your energy into is what you get back. And again, that is just a reminder of how you deal with the Five of Pentacles, but it's the law of attraction. If you keep on putting your energy into the right area, in the right direction, you will get the reward back. And that is definitely what I'm feeling with that Six of Pentacles. Because the Emperor is all about success. I mean, this is empire building. It's also a sign of somebody of influence and authority, generally head of a company, um, somebody in their power, somebody in their element, somebody who understands how to really empire build. Um, so this is either you or taking the reins, taking control of a situation, or it can be somebody in authority who is reaching out to you here, Capricorn, offering you something. Yeah. So it definitely feels for some of you, uh, what you've been working towards, you're getting the value back. Again, this can be a kind of exchange energy as well, maybe some kind of exchange of information. Um, but I'm definitely getting this energy of this is about either you being in your power or somebody in authority reaching out to you. And they're bringing equilibrium in terms of finances. I see those scales being balanced again. So where there has been lack, it feels like the universe is giving you that helping hand to rebalance those scales. Uh, because this is the wish coming true, getting your heart's desire, joy, reason to be thankful. It's also a card of celebration, celebrating those cups with other people who are connected to your heart, people who care about you, support you, guide you. It definitely feels for some of you there is some kind of personal achievement coming your way. You know, I love the energy of feeling fulfilled, satisfied, content, but getting your heart's desire here, it's a wish coming true. And it's to do with this helping hand. You're being helped, guided. These two cards are appearing not by coincidence. So I definitely get, it's almost kind spirit is telling you that the success is coming your way. Just keep going and don't let the lack own you because there will be some kind of shift release coming your way that's opening a powerful new door very beautiful energy i'm going to pull a final card final message for capricorn please angels spirits guides final message for capricorn Yeah, we have inner child. The fairies of playfulness remind you to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Very nice energy. Um, and it feels like things will look up. You know, this is about reconnecting to happiness. Something that ha you've been finding difficult, you know. Uh, it's a challenge position with the Six of Cups. Something that you've been finding difficult to reconnect to. It feels for some of you the happiness is coming back. Yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed the reading Capricorn. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.